Welcome back folks, Mac T Ford Edge here and I'm going to revisit the coil testing because I'm going to cover another test on it to verify uh, how to determine if it is good before you install it. I was a little short on the first one, I apologize, but this is going to be a makeup video for that coil resistance testing and I'll go through both of the tests that I'm going to be looking at, checking through pin 1 and pin 2 through to the coil where it actually makes contact with the, uh, the uh, spark plug itself. So really aiming to try to take and make this a little more informative than I did before. But we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to do a test on my Ford Edge with 180,000 miles on the coil. So we will be checking a 180,000 mile coil against a brand new coil. And we're gonna see if there's any difference and of course test it to make sure it's still good, which I know it is, it's still running good. So let's go ahead and get this thing off of here. Now I'm gonna take it off at number six here, it's the easiest one to reach. We'll get this one off of here real quick and take it inside and we'll do our test in there. There we go, it's a little bit on the tough side. Been on here a while, hasn't it? There we go. We got it disconnected. So we'll wiggle it a bit. There we go. We got the boot and all out of there. So we have number six coil. We'll go ahead and uh, inspect it a bit and we'll go and test it. Okay, we have on my uh, right here the uh, old coil I marked with a red mark and that is 180 thousands and this is the brand new one so we're going to go back and as you can see right up in there we got pins okay we got pin one and pin two okay left to right is how we're going to look at it uh, didn't look up the schematics to see exactly but there's only two pins so you can't really go wrong on this now we want to test both of them it doesn't matter which way you do it and i'll show you you can put one on pin one and of course the ground on the other one and you can put them both on there and we're reading at a seven so I'll switch them around just to prove to you that that's how it works And there you go. So it doesn't matter which pin. Just check the pin. So we got uh, 0.7, okay, on this. And uh, basically, I think that's uh, going to be your your uh, resistance as far as your reading. Now that's like seven 700 ohms or something like that. And as long as your probe is long enough, you go ahead and uh, insert the probe in there make contact with the spring and then you can go ahead and put it on pin in this case I put it on the second pin and you'll see we have 2375 we'll go ahead and try the other pin and again virtually the same thing so 2375, 2363, again, we're touching it. They're all pretty much the same as far as the contact and everything else. So 23,000 as far as what we're looking at as far as ohms, okay, for this brand new coil. So we saw that. Now we're going to do the same thing here on this uh, old coil and we're going to get the contacts, pin 1 and 2. If I can get the contacts here, they're somewhat tricky sometimes. And this one is running up to about 8 or 9 give it another test. Again, remember 180,000. And 
and we're at a 0.7 again. Uh, double check it. Let's double check this thing. And we're at a 0.7. So this coil here is the same as a new one at the resistance for the pins 1 and 2 that I did check right here. like a 3240 is what we're getting out of it so let's go ahead and uh, check it again on this other pin pin 2 and we have a 3232 and we got a 3225 so they're all pretty much the same on here in checking them so we have basically uh, proven that uh, this coil here is 32 and again going back to this one we put this up in here hit that and we had what twenty three so the old one is running at a thirty two and this one is running at twenty three 23,000 ohms versus 32,000 for the old one. So what does that tell us? Okay, put your comments below on there, but it's going to be rather interesting uh, that uh, we have some, uh, the old coil, guess it's showing its age. Well, folks, as you saw, the new coil is definitely reading as far as resistance and everything. A 23 and the other the old coil is reading at 32. Uh, I'm assuming that uh, the age is definitely starting to degrade it as far as where it's going. Uh, but uh, it's, it's something to be aware of, okay? As they get older, we all know that the coils will, of course, uh, start having some issues. And then, of course, you got to replace them, which is why I bought new coils for my edge because I figured at 180000 Coils are going to start going, okay? And this is some uh, noted proof here at the contacts going through the end where it makes contact from the pins to the actual spark plug itself. There is a notable difference between the new one and the old one. So uh, it's about time. Change the plugs at 180,000. It looks like we're getting into a point that uh, it's going to be time to change those uh, coils out and refresh it. Uh, ignition system so to speak well I went ahead and put the uh, coils back in now keep in mind I did uh, check the coils and there was something very notable about the new one being about 23,000 uh, ohms and the older ones being 34 35 was another one I checked uh, as the coils constructed, just keep in mind there are two sets of coils in there. That's why I call them coils. But uh, the first is a primary, has less windings, therefore less resistance. That's why we're getting the 700 ohms on that reading. The secondary, which is of uh, course uh, going to be your more smaller wires, but a lot more windings, and that's what builds up the charge to actually create the spark that fires your spark plug. Uh, so it builds up that charge to send it, so it greatly increases the amount of uh, voltage that goes to the plug to create the spark. Uh, real simple explanation. Uh, that would also answer why you have a higher resistance, even on the new one being at 23,000 uh, ohms, uh, that goes that way. So uh, that's just a simple basic thing. What I am seeing is that the uh, resistance is increasing uh with the older ones as they go so uh not quite certain where this is going with that but uh, i think it's time to change these coils at my next spark plug change so that i could get them back down to a, something a little more reasonable to work with because uh i'm sure they're within spec because i have no misfires that are being noted so that is going to keep me uh comfortable in what i'm doing but then again you know, you start getting up to that mileage, uh, it's time to change those coils anyway. 
So when if you got a Ford Edge that's running nearly 200,000, you got the original manufacturer's coils, it is time to change them, folks. After all, when they do fail, they can do really horrendous things to your PCM and things like that. So why not get them changed? But that is what I'm going to do here shortly. So I'm just basically wrapping this up. I got the coils back in my edge, and of course I will be changing them with the new ones. But this is Mac T Ford Edge. Of course, join that Facebook group and make sure you become a member and talk to everybody in there and get your questions answered. And also join up on and subscribe to YouTube. Remember, ring that bell to get those alerts for the new videos that I do put out and make sure that uh, you are notified of that. And by all means, my feet hit the floor today and I'm having a great day and I want you to have a great day too. And with that being said, Mercy Grill may have a couple statements and a little bit of raw footage as far as we go through this to help you out and end this video. Thank you for watching that.